Following last week's episode of Star Wars The Acolyte, Wikipedia took it upon itself to make a very sudden and radical change so that, well, established canon wouldn't be violated. Of course, it begs the question if canon can just be changed on a whim based on poor writing. Is it really even canon to begin with? Is anything canon or sacred or even lore anymore? One would be forgiven for thinking not. And one of the things that was somewhat a bit odd is that Wikipedia is now having people rally to their support because they are allegedly receiving threats of violence, which of course are never condoned, especially something as ridiculous as Disney, Star Wars. But what I find to be a bit amusing is they seem to have missed the fact that they're not the only ones that are actually getting legitimate death threats. Star Wars Theory has been dealing with his own issues since discussing this last week following the episode, and, well, he's actually bringing the receipts. But here's the thing. Speaking of viewing things, how about we view some real receipts? Um, how about this? You know, Master of the TDS, who's been doing bang-up work out there tracking a bunch of bots, which I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually a bot army, for all I know. Star Wars Theory, again, we want to talk about somebody who we know for sure has been getting threatened, because we can see it right here in real time, yeah, because he's receipt. actually posting receipts here. And I'm not saying that Amanda, again, didn't get anything, but I just found it odd that nothing was... I mean, if, you, if you're going to go out and make that stand stand like she did in the video i i, I would have clipped in a couple of those i would have clipped in a couple of those messages maybe get a screenshot. little screenshot give me some screenshots screenshot something but if you're going to tell me that the racist messages quote unquote racist messages that you got is the same level of quote unquote racism that fans of star wars get accused of every day now by disney and their cast members and by cast members i mean people actually in the show not people working in the parks not those cast members but we're getting accused of it every day by, because we say The Acolyte sucks. It's a bad show written poorly. It breaks canon. It's a joke. That's racist now, right? So if it's that, if that's the kind of message she's getting that, hey, your characters suck. Your character don't make sense. You're, you're, the writing is bad. Is that? I don't know what racist is, but look at this. Let's look at this. So... The next time someone tells you that you're a, quote, toxic Star Wars fan, just remember the kind of people you're dealing with. These are some death threats being made towards Star Wars theory, including someone saying they want to publicly uh, chop off his head and sell it. To Let's look at some of these. Sell this popcorn. Looks yeah, sell popcorn. Uh, yeah. What if a baby grand piano just comically fell out of the sky and landed on Star Wars theory like a Looney Tune? Boom, what Palestine then? flag. Shock. Right. It Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to say it. I think we'd better off as a species if we just yeeted these losers into the effing sun. Someone Ooh, needs flag. to. Yeah, someone needs to get rid of this man. Star Wars theory. Uh, my thoughts are that we need to do a public um, head cutting, beheading Star Wars theory. I mean, I don't know what YouTube is going to be sensitive with. We're reading mean tweets right now, YouTube. That's it. Right. This is news. Uh, beheading of Star Wars there. I'll be selling popcorns. Uh, the Star Wars fandom just needs to be nuked at this point. Uh, can we this mf -er talking wow. about Star Wars theory? Somebody. But I mean, look at the engagement, though. I mean, at least the engagement is it's clearly gaining traction. The thing is, is that, I mean, we got receipts there of somebody actually being attacked. And, you know, after the whole thing with Wikipedia, I tweeted out. I didn't expect it to be that popular, uh, but I tweeted out about. And hey, what if Star Wars Theory just made up his own competition page to Wikipedia? Because he talked about it. He's like, look, I got 3 million subs on YouTube, but, you know, Wikipedia gets like, whatever he said, something something like millions of, you know, views a month or whatever it was. Yeah. So, you know, their, their traffic and their revenue is way bigger than me. And to which I thought, I was like, well, Theory, there's a million dollar idea right there, buddy. Hey, uh, buddy. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you maybe start your own you know, version of a Star Wars. That's a great idea. Yeah, just start Star Wars theories, you know, encyclopedia or something like this. I mean, why not? If if Wikipedia and all that out there, which I believe is independent, right? That's not owned by Lucasfilm or Disney, is it not? No. I didn't think so. So why not make another independent one with all this on there? 
let's have it out and see what happens. You know, not to mention too, this is like the public space. Imagine that dude's DMs on a on a daily basis. Oh god. Yeah. Imagine the direct messages and the emails on a daily basis from he, sickos like this. I don't even know. Does he does he have his no, I don't think he has his DMs open on here. I don't blame him. I don't think he's had them open for a while. Yeah. Um, you know. But yeah, so so theory, it's okay to get, you know, for him to get dragged over the coals because he correctly called out in episode four, hey, this doesn't work. Um, oh my God, Wikipedia just changed it in real time because the show was trash and screwed up something that had been established for years and he called him out on it. And then they proceeded to block him and all the rest of us, I guess, because I got blocked by Wikipedia. Oh. Um, got well, go ratioed him a little bit on something before they did, but, um, <laughs> but that's yeah. just how gross this side of the fan base is. And as somebody who's like legitimately in the no, no, trenches no. with this all the bad the guys x-wing we're 100%. the bad guys yeah so the funny part to me always is though is that the accusations from one side are that you're terrible people you're violent you're you know istophoba racy whatever blah 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 and then on what i'll call my side of the fan base sitting in our trench we're going i don't like this writing i don't like what they did to canon i don't like what they did to lore those are our arguments so take the two and just put it in Lady Justice's hands and find out who's really in the wrong here. Yeah. Truly. Who's truly in the wrong here? And again, the reason that we... And for people out there asking, oh my God, Valiant, you're going to keep watching this. Yeah, I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to tell you why. I don't want to watch it. Trust me. And I, I, I had a conversation with Jonas this week. I'm like, man, I, this, this show is burning me out, but I'm going to keep doing it because I feel like I've started it. I'm going to get through it and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... We're going to talk about it. It's like an unnecessary because root canal. We're already into this is. dentist. Finish it off. Yeah. I don't care if I, I don't care if the tooth was fine. I'm, I'm doing really it. No, but <laughs> but the, the issue with the show is I, I like, I can't wait to see what they screw up next. Not now look, if you guys don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Don't support it. You know, I, I get it. That's why we're doing it because if I'm watching it and you're watching me talking about it, you know, for the last couple of videos we did on it, that's, that's 50, 60, 70, 100 plus thousand views on some of these videos we've done on the Acolyte. You're watching me talk about it. Those views aren't going to Disney Plus. That's why I do it, right? So same thing here on the live show. But the issue is it's, just the, it's the amount of money that they spent on this. And mm. that's what I'm keeping pounding. And when we talk, you know, when we, we, we build the videos to kind of talk to that financial audience, the Wall Street audience, that's what needs to be understood. This isn't a $50 million show. This isn't a $20 million show. This isn't a $10 million documentary, okay? David Zaslav loves making five, $10 million reality shows to stick on Discovery because they turn in $100 million of ad revenue, right? Disney's got nothing like that. Um, they spent almost $200 million on this show, and we've got writers from episode four and in episode five, which Leslie Headland has said, this is her favorite episode coming up this week. Oh, I no. don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but episode five is her favorite. So let's, go. let's yeah, I'm sure the it's going to be. The number of again, women who will be victimized in this next episode must be oh, astounding. God. I swear to God, if there's a casting couch in this episode, never mind. Um, <laughs> but right there on the oops. ship. The All only right. person that would be on that couch is George Lucas, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. Ow. No, but I mean, look, the thing is, is that when you have the writers out there talking about how, well, they didn't, they didn't show the Wookiee death scene because budget and they, like that, that is, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. You look at what they spent to get the Wookiee. They first, they had to cast one. They had to build a costume for him. They built this whole planet out that they went to was just for the Wookiee. They built the house. They built this set to, mm -hmm. to put the Wookiee in. That Wookiee's been on camera three minutes this whole show. You did it all for the Wookiee. You're oh, telling me the the that they didn't plan out. You're telling me they, they couldn't plan out like a, an extra half a day of a, of a shoot to get the Wookiee at least fighting or something happening. And again, had to fly like, him out from the Netherlands, for God's sakes. I it just to me it's like don't give me this budget stuff. Yeah, I mean y'all y'all don't know what the hell you're doing at Lucasfilm. You never have with money. Um, you got a bunch of people. What did, over what there. did Dune two cost? Like it, it was around the same, right? 
165. Okay, so so less. Imagine yeah, I if think it was less. worms just didn't make it into the budget. Right, exactly. Well, you know, we couldn't have that final fight uh, yeah. because we just didn't have it in the budget. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. How does Dune Part 2 look like that? And honestly, and here's the thing. Dune Part 2 was, what, about two and a half hours long? It, so, was, closer, it was closer to three. Was it? Okay, I was trying yeah. to remember. So almost, let's say almost three hours. The Acolyte is eight episodes. They said in the beginning that the average episode is going to clock in at about 30 minutes. Yeah. So that's four hours. That's only like an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes more finished production time than Dune Part 2. What the hell are we doing over there? We're, Probably like, redress sets from Kenobi, too. I wouldn't be surprised if the Coruscant set is just redressed from Kenobi. A lot of the stuff is done on the volume, like... No, 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 none of this. Almost none of this was. No, oh, this really? Was, no, 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 no. This was shot in the UK like Andor. This was shot oh, at Shinville. Yeah, yeah. We, we, was? We were tracking <laughs> We were tracking the financials since day one because people kept telling us it was a fake show. It was never really coming. And I'm like, well, the camera started rolling in October of 22. It's happening, guys. But no, they spent $50 million before a single camera rolled. We have, we have the financial returns. Um, so when, when they closed the UK financial reporting to get their film tax credits, they closed it at the end of September of 22. Cameras started rolling in early October. So they had already spent 50 million US dollars. They got some tax credits back. But that was just Whoa. leasing out Shinfield, building the sets, building all this inside and outside of the soundstage and on back lots, the props, the costumes, everything else. $50 million in the ground before a single frame was shot. So Hobby I mean, Lobby foliage is expensive. Yeah. Legitimately though, look at the look at that redwood scene and look at it and tell me that's what? Yeah. I'm talking about the roly polies wrapped around the tree. When you look at it, you're like, God, that is resin left, right, upside down, and sideways. It just kind of hurts to watch. Yeah. I, I mean, they actually kind of gave you, okay, we 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 got a bit of a jump scare there. And it's like then I wondered what was the point of it? Um just just to have some creatures like because they what what role did the flying it was it was, it was supposed play? to be this this sense of impending doom that this forest was very scary right and so she wakes up the one roly-poly and then the jedi master tells all the other jedi stand down i've got down. and yeah. and kills one yeah and then they're like well, okay he held his lightsaber up and it's a pukud it buggy boo sapuku right. right into the lightsaber. And they justified it with, it's attracted to light. <laughs> and make sure you're subscribed to Valiant Renegade and join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern for the live show.